welcome to Fina Aquatics World. In this month's episode, we'll visit Norway for the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Over the course of the show, we meet up with Federica Pellegrini. And we follow the FINA World Masters Championships. The 15th edition of the FINA World Masters Championships took place in Montreal, Canada from July 27th to August 10th. The FINA World Masters Championships is the Federation's biggest competition in terms of participation as it welcomes athletes from the age of 25 to more than 100 years old from all corners of the world. FINA officially created the Masters movement about 30 years ago and the first edition was held in 1986 in Tokyo. The vibrant Masters movement actively promotes fitness, friendship, understanding and competition through its five disciplines, swimming, diving, water polo, synchronized swimming and open water swimming. In Montreal, it all started with a spectacular opening ceremony. For the athletes, young and old, coming from all around the world, this was a fantastic opportunity to meet fellow athletes and to showcase their skills and love for the sport on a world stage. The synchronized swimming competitions were a veritable smorgasbord of enthusiastic performances. It was a great experience. It was uh, we were outside. It was very sunny, so uh, the, I mean the landscape is beautiful. So it's, it was a great experience, really. The swimming events, both in the pool and open water, boasted full fields in many age categories, with top performances across the board. It's a lot of fun. It's a great atmosphere, and uh, to have everybody here, it's it's something special, and I'll remember it forever. The water polo tournaments witnessed many great matches and old friends got to meet again in friendly competition. The last time the three of us played together was in 1964 at the Olympics in Tokyo. We're all from the same club, El Segundo, which is in California near Los Angeles. And so it's a great reunion for us, it's a lot of fun. Last but not least, the diving competition was a big success with many astonishing performances by athletes of all ages. Starting in 2015, the FINA World Masters Championships will be held in conjunction with the FINA World Championships, taking place in Kazan, Russia. And with that, we say thank you, Montreal. Thanks so much, Montreal. Gracias, Montreal. Merci, Montreal. Obrigada, Montreal. Efkaristo poli, Montreal. Merci beaucoup, Montreal. Merci beaucoup. Me encanta, Montreal. Thank you, Montreal. Thank, Thank you, Montreal. Italy's Federica Pellegrini is one of the world's most decorated swimmers in the last decade. She's also one of the most recognized sports personalities in her home country, thanks to her big achievements as well as her dynamic personality. Her path in swimming started already as a baby taking a water acclimatizing course, and her rapid development from there became evident in 2004 when she created headlines by making it to Italy's Olympic swimming team for the Athens Games. Sì, io avevo da qualche giorno ho compiuto 16 anni ad Atene 2004 e ero arrivata lì come, come matricola di una squadra ormai di grandissimi, di grandissimi atleti quindi sinceramente dal partire con la nazionale come matricola e tornare con una medaglia sinceramente non ho. I really could not expect non, non avrei it mai to pensato happen, fosse, fosse una cosa possibile. Medal, Invece è venuta questa, questa splendida medaglia e insomma è stata una sorpresa. Her Athens experience was a huge success, securing a surprising silver medal in the 200 meter freestyle event. From that day on she became the natural star of Italian swimming. But even though she continued to do well, gold medals at the major events continued to elude her. 
and going into the Beijing Olympics four years later, she wasn't an obvious favourite, despite being a world record holder. After failing in the 400 metre freestyle, she managed to come back and win the 200 metres, lowering her own world record in the final. Beh, uh, quella gara lì è stata il coronamento di un sogno, vincere un'Olimpiade per, per un atleta è la, la cosa più importante, il sogno più, più difficile al quale arrivare, quindi insomma quella medaglia d'oro è stata una medaglia sudata perché poi da Atene a Pechino 2008 sono passati quattro anni, ma quattro anni insomma abbastanza difficili, di molti bassi, alti, quindi insomma è stato il coronamento di un sogno di anni. With an Olympic gold medal among her achievements, Pellegrini was the obvious poster girl for the World Championships on home soil in Rome the year after. Once again, she delivered when it mattered most. Beh, Roma well, è stata it is difficult to describe the emotions that I felt in Rome. When you win the World Championship at home in Pool, which is, in my opinion, and without taking anything away from all the others, the most beautiful in the world. That was my opinion before the event, and I'm even more convinced now. Pellegrini won the 200 and 400 metre freestyle finals in Rome, both in new world record times, cementing herself as one of the great sports people in Italy. Pellegrini holds the world record as it is. Is she going to lower her own mark? She's on her way to a gold medal. And it's Pellegrini of Italy. It's going to be gold. It's going to be a world record. It's Pellegrini. Two years later at the world champs in Shanghai, she swept another freestyle double and everyone expected her to continue her success and defend her Olympic title in London 2012. But it wasn't to be. A Londra 2012 is a problem. Dico tecnico ma non mi riferisco solo dal punto di vista degli allenamenti in acqua, io sono arrivato a Londra 2012 completamente fuori forma, l'unico problema è stato quello, io ho gareggiato mettendoci tutti i nervi che potevo, tutta la testa che potevo ma il mio fisico non reagiva più a nessuno stimolo, ero arrivata proprio completamente fuori forma, sfasata, senza, senza forza, senza costruzione di una forza fatta prima evidentemente dal punto di vista della preparazione atletica. The disappointment of the London Olympics was tough and led to Pellegrini taking a short time out from the pool and then to shift focus to the backstroke event for the 2013 season. But she switched back to freestyle just ahead of the world champs in Barcelona that year and surprisingly secured silver medal in the 200 meter final. We'll return to Verona and Pellegrini later on in the show, so that we can listen to her thoughts on the future. It's time for the fourth stop of the 2014 Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series as we visit Norway, the scenic town of Kragerø. A huge crowd of boats were there to cheer on the brave men plunging from an impressive 28 meter platform. This was the midway point of the season and the best cliff divers in the world were showing soft form. The 2013 FINA world champion Orlando Duque was back to his best as he paved his way to the podium once more. You know, because we're already going into the second half and I'm playing catch up, I just need to keep diving good. You know, there's a few people that are ahead of me that, that I need to keep in check, make sure that I'm, I'm staying close to them or ahead of them. But I'm pretty happy. I mean, uh, I think uh, I did as, as best as I could today. The reigning series champion, Artem Silchenko, struggled to find balance in his handstand due to his neck injury, but somehow managed to perform an incredible dive. But there could only be one winner. Triple World Series champion Gary Hunt took first place for the third time this season. I'm so happy. I mean, this is what I trained for. Um, it was a bit shaky at the start uh, with my new dive, but I'm, I'm back on form and uh, the hard work's paid off. Go 
Wilderer also hosted a women's competition where the field left from a 20-metre platform showing that there's superb acrobatic athletes serving up a thrilling competition to the Norwegian crowd. It's incredible. Uh, the view is glorious. Seeing the boats out there, there's more people, more fans, more energy. It's awesome. Ginger Huber proved that consistency pays by taking third place, and she was thrilled to be on the podium. I feel great. You know, I just tried to go out there and uh, be a little bit more confident and uh, try and, you know, not hold back this competition. I think it, it helps. Rochelle Simpson performed her last dive and the most difficult effort of the competition. Drawing great scores from the judges. Now all that was left was Anna Bader's final dive. But it wasn't quite enough for the German to maintain her lead. Instead, Rochelle Simpson was triumphant once again, picking up from her win in Texas. I'm so happy with the score and the turnout, but also as a personal, like, diving consistency, I'm really happy. A great day with great action in Kragera, and there's more to come as the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series continues for the men in San Miguel in the Azores, while the women set their sights on the finals in Mexico. After the break, we listen to Federica Pellegrini on her Rio ambitions. It's time for the FINA Mass Bank Swimming World Cup in Doha and Dubai. And we follow Michael Phelps at the USA National Championships. In part two of FINA Aquatics World, we return to Verona and Federica Pellegrini. The FINA Mass Bank Swimming World Cup gets underway in Doha and Dubai. But first, we head to the USA for their national championships in swimming. The USA National Championships in Swimming in Irvine, California was the most important swim meet in American waters this year as it served as qualification for both the 2014 Pan Pacific Championships as well as next year's Worlds. The biggest name on site at the William Woolett Junior Aquatic Center was of course Michael Phelps. His comeback may not have witnessed him lining up victories one after another but he still draws massive attention wherever he goes. The first final of the meet was the 100 meter freestyle where he was up against, among others, Ryan Lochte and Nathan Adrian. Better start by Phelps there. He's in lane three. Good push off there. He stays underwater a little bit longer than Nathan Adrian. Much better. 
Can he come back like he did in the prelims? He's going to have to make up a lot of room. Five meters to go, and it's Nathan Adrian pulling away from the field. Out of the wall, it will be Adrian. An impressive victory for sprint specialist Nathan Adrian in 48.31 seconds. Lochte held on for second place, while Phelps, third fastest in the preliminaries, struggled with the turn and had to settle with a seventh place finish. Phelps' final event in the Nationals was the 200 meter individual medley, and a long awaited battle with rivals and Lochte. You see Phelps up there in lane number six. He's in second right now, but these other guys will come on. But guess what? The two greatest in history are going head-to-head -to, -head to the end. And the crowd roaring as Phelps is pushing. This is going to the wall. Phelps and Lochte again, and it is Lochte. A sensational race where Lochte looked safe at the 150-meter mark. Phelps surged home in magnificent style to challenge Lochte all the way to the tiles. In the end, Lochte managed to win the race 1 minute 56.50 this time. The women's side was dominated by Katie Ledecky and Missy Franklin. The duo claimed three individual titles each at the Trina World Championships last year and currently ruled the world of female freestyle and backstroke swimming. Irvine, they had a highly anticipated duel in the 200 meter freestyle final. Decky in lane four, Franklin in lane five. This is all Franklin and Ledecky. They both will go to Australia, but it looks like Ledecky's going to win this one. Katie Ledecky out in front as they come up on 25 meters to go. And it is Katie Ledecky, Missy Franklin cannot close in on her. Coming down to the final five meters and at the wall, it will be Katie Ledecky getting the win. Missy Franklin second. One minute 55.16 for Ledecky, who showed that she is a world-class sprinter as well. Franklin held on for second place, but she got her freestyle title in the 100 meters final. Franklin also won both the 200 and here the 100 meter backstroke. There goes Missy, you knew that was gonna happen. You just had a feeling that somehow or another she was gonna kick it into a different gear. Five meters to go and at the wall it will be Missy Franklin with the win. And Ledecky wasn't happy with just a 200 meter victory. She continued to dominate the freestyle events, winning the 800 meter final in 8 minutes 18.47. And she switched focus to the 400 meters. She's going to have to do it on her own because there is no one else around her. Katie Ledecky, the 17 year old, bringing it home, looking for the world record. She needs to touch the wall before 359.15. And here she comes, the final five meters. Can she get it done? 56, 57, she's gonna do it. A sensational swim by Ledecky, setting a new world record in 3 minutes 58.86, lowering the previous mark held by Federica Pellegrini. Ledecky opted to pass on the 1500 meters in Irvine, which she's already shown. No rival on US soil in the freestyle events between 200 and 1500 meters. But with that, we leave the William Woolett Junior Aquatic Center and the US Swimming National Championships to return to Federica Pellegrini, still the world record holder over 200 meters freestyle. We're back with Federica Pellegrini. Earlier in the show, we heard about her early success, as well as the big setback at the London Olympics. Now, she's once again focusing more on her freestyle and is training together with her boyfriend and fellow world champion swimmer, Filippo Magnini, in Verona. Questo è stato il nostro percorso, now adesso ci alleniamo comunque insieme, viviamo insieme da un paio d'anni e stiamo bene, insomma, the same abbiamo lo stesso percorso sportivo, lo stesso, so uh, right gli stessi percorsi Even fuori nella vita e quindi insomma ci troviamo molto bene, negli alti e bassi che hanno tutte le coppie insomma. In acqua, tra virgolette, comunque impegnati in attività sempre legate al nuoto, 
the whole day from the morning until the evening, including the weekends, Saturday and Sundays, all the competitions. It would be much more difficult to be with a person who doesn't belong to this world. You wouldn't understand so well. Sarebbe molto più difficile. Capirebbe meno. In 2011, Felipe Lucas took her under her wing and he's still one of her coaches. But following her disappointment in London, Chia Manini also started working with Matteo Giunta and he sees positive effects of working with a swimming couple. Ma loro si conoscono da tanto tempo. Um... Sicuramente è un, è un fattore positivo quando questa, questa, questa vicinanza, questo, questo stare insieme è appunto un qualcosa che li aiuta, gli aiuta reciprocamente. Per Federica e anche Filippo il più grosso problema adesso è che non hanno, non hanno degli, de, de, degli atleti di fianco loro che, con i quali si possono stimolare, non hanno degli spari in parte, non hanno nessuno che, che condivide questo tipo di, di, di sacrificio, so quindi si aiutano anche, anche in questo durante gli allenamenti, e parlandosi, training. giocando, scherzando insieme e sicuramente questo è un fattore, è un fattore positivo. Pellegrini may be a veteran within the sport with 10 years at the highest elite level, but she's only 26 years old and should be able to have many more years of success ahead of her. But professional sport takes its toll. And even though it's still a long way adrift, the Rio Olympics is already on her mind, an event that might very well be her last hurrah in the pool. E ci arrivo, ci arrivo con il mio team, mantenendo la serenità che ho durante gli allenamenti e ho creato intorno a me da, da due anni a questa parte. E I hope speriamo di arrivarci nel migliore dei modi perché comunque penso sarà dal punto di vista individuale la, la mia ultima Olimpiade poi nella vita mai dire mai però penso che a Rio 2016 a 28 anni posso dire di aver chiuso un ciclo importante della mia vita The 2014 edition of the FINA Mass Bank Swimming World Cup kicked off on the eve of summer with two stops in the Middle East, Doha and Dubai. This year's series will span from August to November with seven stops in total, each featuring a 36-event program. The two opening legs of the series saw many world-class swimmers in action, delivering stunning performances. One name, however, did stand out from the rest. Katinka Hosu of Hungary. The Magyar swimmer entered 13 races in Doha, winning seven. In Dubai, she claimed eight titles in 10 races. But even more impressive is the fact that she managed to set three new world records in Doha, only to lower two of them in Dubai a few days later, all coming in her favorite medley events. She's racing against the clock. Katinka Hosu. Well and truly inside a new world record. Katinka Hosu has her second world record in as many meets. Well, she's ahead of the world record. She'll do it again early on in the day. With that last 100 meter IM record, Hosu can now boast 11 25 meter pool world records in her career. And she has thus surpassed Ryan Lochte's previous record with 10. Her compatriot Daniel Gierta joined the World Record Club as well. The reigning Olympic champion and three-time world champion in the 200-meter breaststroke was pushed hard by Germany's Marco Koch in Dubai. Gierta goes deep, driving well under the water. Koch got a good push at the wall. He's uh, straining by about a body length at the moment. Can we grab that world record? We have indeed. Two minutes, 00.48 by Gierta, who shows that he has the capacity to become the first swimmer to go under two minutes in the 200 meter breaststroke. Other impressive feats saw South Africa's Chad Leclerc securing seven titles in total. His best effort perhaps coming in the 100 meter butterfly in Dubai. And get away. The cloak up quickly, sitting nice and high in the water, finding the rhythm early on. 
on the way home. Her watching the world record just outside, but Leclo will pick up the gold. Just 11 hundredths of a second off the world record, which Leclo will continue to hunt for the remainder of the series. Spain's Maria Belmonte totaled five titles in the opening cluster of the World Cup, winning the 400 and 800 meter freestyle on both occasions. And Ndoa managed to defeat a certain Katinka Hoshu in the 200 meter butterfly. Wish going to be beaten into submission here, Katinka Hoshu. Certainly looks that way. A nice duel between two great swimmers, and Hoshu got her revenge in the same event in Dubai. Finally, we zoom in on Jamaica's breaststroke specialist, Alia Atkinson. So when racing here, the final no surprise to see Atkinson gets off to a wonderful start here. It is Atkinson streaking away here in lane four. It is going to be a Jamaican victory. Atkinson clocking a 103.79 victory in the 100 meter breaststroke in Doha. In summary, Doha and Dubai delivered a spectacular start to this year's FINA Mass Bank Swimming World Cup, with six world record races and many stunning efforts by the world class swimmers on site. Looking at the rankings following two out of seven stops, we find Chad Leclerc in a narrow lead ahead of Daniel Piotta on the men's side, but there are still many contenders for the overall title. Among the women, it's all about Katinka Hoshu, who can boast a 229-point lead ahead of Ine Decker. Alia Atkinson's and Maria Belmonte's many victories also put them in the top four so far. The next stop of the FINA Mast Bank Swimming World Cup will bring the swimming elite to Hong Kong in late September. That's all for this program. We'll be back next month with more aquatics action. Thanks for watching and goodbye.